uh, over the past 10 years or so, uh, the law of attraction has definitely been a thing. Uh, people have attributed their success to it, and uh, a lot of money has been made in that industry. And uh, you know, a lot of people are just looking for hope, just looking for a way out of the monotony, the mundane, and all those things. I understand that, and I do support it, but with... Uh, with so many people speaking out against optimism and, you know, the, it gets this connotation of being delusional and not seeing the negativity that's right in front of uh, our faces. Um, I, I, I want to speak on why I believe optimism is necessary for you, why you should have a great deal of optimism. Um, so... Because, you know, I have this conversation with my child's mother and she thinks that optimism is the opposite of realism. And I think that you should have a hef you know a healthy dose of both. And uh, so here's the thing. When you're pessimistic, you don't go looking for options. So you say, oh, this will never work. Or why would that work? Or why, you know, like, yeah, why even try? Why bother? Why all these, you know, you say these things. And then, you know, you rationalize it. You're like, yeah, well, I try. I mean, I might fail. You know, I might try. You know, but when you're when you're optimistic, you say, hey, why don't I give it a shot? You say, oh, why not me? Or, you know, well, we'll, we'll try, you know, why not try again? You know, these things. So then when you when you get in the mindset of, uh, why, you know, hey, why not give it another shot? Then you start thinking about other things. And, you know, especially important where when you hit a roadblock and you say, well, damn, that didn't work. You might internalize it. It may make you a bit upset, but the optimist in you is like, well, why not try something else? You know what I'm saying? So it's so it's not devoid of realism. You, you definitely need to embrace things. You definitely need to, uh, you know, uh, uh, pay attention to reality, pay attention to the ongoings of life. Uh, I'm not telling anybody to avoid that, but it's like, once you understand it, you don't beat a goddamn dead horse and you understand, well, life is going to go on. Um, so let me try something new. And it takes a lot of out of a person, I would say, until you finally get into that mindset. It takes a lot out of a person to try to focus on the positive when a lot of negative things are happening. But this is why you put in the work. You know, this is why a lot of people speak out against the law of attraction. Um, where they actually have a point is because... It kind of gives off this concept that if you just focus on something, you know, there you go. Surprise, a million dollars. Um, so I, there's definitely some truth to that, you know, vibrating at a higher level, which I, I want to speak on also in, an, in another video. When you vibrate at a certain level, you can vibrate at a level where fear doesn't exist, for example, or doubt doesn't exist. All of these things. So that's that that's good for you. That's get, that's getting you in the right mindset. But if you just keep feeding yourself all of this positive things and you don't take action which isn't going to feel as great as you know living in the dream world makes you feel, then you're just going to fall. You're going to it's going to be a steep fall and you're going to get anywhere. And 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 uh I, I would take that over you know, being delusional for the rest of my life with just this blind optimism, but no work. So this is this is the culmination of it all. This is the perfect formula that is kind of just thrown. It's kind of scattered. I don't know if I'm gonna do a great job at putting it together, but basically, optimism plus plus realism, or we say realism plus optimism, because first. We address the issue that is, and then we remind ourselves that hey, people made it through worse feats, people have made it through similar feats. Now we have to be positive to understand that, or positive enough to know that there are other options, there are other ways. So, like in uh, The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho, one of the messages in the extended parable that is that book is that there are thousands of ways to get to a certain destination 
So if one thing doesn't work, well, then you try another one. <laughs> you know, you just you find a way to just keep staying excited. You know, and I know it's tough. I know it's tough. I know it's tough. And this is why you do the work. This is why you do the homework. This is why you study people. This is why you don't try to fake anything. This is why you don't try to sell other people's dreams as well as yourself. You definitely want to see things for what they are, but never want to let the pain that you endured penetrate you so deep that you close your eyes off from seeing more opportunity. Not every opportunity is for you. Not every tactic that you use is going to be successful, okay? I mean, you got to treat everything like a war. It's not always that serious, but you got to understand compromises happen. Things happen. You have to call audible sometimes, all right? That's just the nature of the game. More importantly, it's nature. Nature isn't always predictable, you know? There is no real blueprint for nature except for to be, to adapt, and to hunt. You know, I'm I'm probably missing something, but those are natural things. Natural things that as humans, we've put it on the back burner. We forgot about it. You know, we're, we're so smart that we taught ourselves how to forget some of the most important things. Most predators fail most of the time in the animal community. You know what I'm saying? But you keep hunting or you'll starve. You know? Um it's natural to adjust to the to the climate, to the environment around you to better maneuver through it or you would die. That's just how it goes. It's just it's hard to get that through to people because you can remain the same, you know, uh, at your core for as long as you, you, you'd be alive and, you know, you, you'd get by just fine like that, you know. You might live to be 100, you, you know, may live a, live a mediocre life, but you, you know, it won't necessarily kill you. So when I talk about things killing you, I'm, I'm figuratively speaking here. Uh, so... To, to, to wrap this all up, we incorporate optimism to keep our options open. You know, we don't want to close off any boxes. This, this is why we do this, all right? We don't want to have a fixed mindset. We want to have a mindset towards growth. And pessimism won't allow you to get there, all right? You, you, know, you know pessimists. You know people who practice pessimism that that may that may be you. Their mind is made up. They got a thousand ways to tell you why something won't work and they only need one. All right? They only need one reason why it wouldn't work. Just like you only need one reason why it would work. But hey, it wouldn't hurt to have thousands of reasons why it would work that way. You can try thousands of things until it does. The one win eradicates all the losses. All the losses. St- Study a lot of these big names who are even still alive, who had big accomplishments, big achievements. It's that one win that took them to where they wanted to be. You know, even, uh, let's see, uh, Warren Buffett says he just tries to be right one time a year. You see how that's working out for him. And it can work out for you on a smaller scale or even a bigger scale. But... Pessimism, although it's a big part of your subconscious mind, seems to have a say in it. You know, before, uh, before the conscious mind does, before you have a say in it. And um, so this is me planting that seed to tell you to always stay optimistic, always keep it real, always look for a way to your destination. All right, if one thing doesn't work, try the next. Keep trying. All right, simply put. All right, take care.